Just checking if it's his coffee and her coffee. Yeah. If the cups are right. <laughs> it's the same drink, but yeah. I don't want your, your goobers. Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Yoga Lifestyle 101. Today, we're talking about... How to sit properly. Well, let's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Start the time. Okay. <laughs> Almost forgot. <laughs> Well, so most of us have in today's Western world an office job, so you sit at your desk a lot and it's perfectly fine. We don't want you to quit and do something outdoor guide <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, you know, but you're active all day, so keep your job. Um, <laughs> but there's things you can do every day to make this a little bit better. We think that uh, sitting is really the new smoking almost, it's just bad for the body. The body is not designed to sit, especially not to sit that long and also not to sit in a chair. Chairs are kind of new. What can we do to make this better when you already sit at your desk or you have a desk job all day? One thing that we recommend is if you can and your work allows it or supports it, have a standing sitting desk where you can adjust the height so you can stand and then you can also lower it again where you can sit and maybe do something in between also on like a high chair or something. Yeah. But that's the first thing you can ask your, your boss if you can get a standing sitting chair. Maybe your office already has those and so and I, um, that's great for you then. And I will say if, you're, if your company doesn't allow it because my previous company did not, then I literally took stacks of books and stacked them up and then I would just put my laptop up on it and then I would stand at my desk. So. Uh, if you, even if your company doesn't allow it, I think you should still become innovative and create a way so that you can stand at your desk yeah. throughout the day. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. One more thing that is also helpful is to always... So the first thing is when you get, get to the office and you take your car, I mean you're also sitting, and depending on traffic, you're sitting for a while. So what is also a good tip, just a little tweak in your day makes a big difference. You just park two, one or two blocks down away from the office so that you walk a few minutes to your work and you don't park right in front of your entrance to your building. So that's something that I do a lot. I park one or two blocks down away so I walk five minutes or so to get to my work. So you get after sitting in the car, you get some movement in, you move your body, you stand up, it's better for your hip flexors, for your back, you use your glutes and then you go to um, your office, to your desk. And then if you're there at the office, um, if you have um, a water or like a break room that's close by, uh, even if it's whatever, 10 second walk away, take the long route instead and walk a little bit farther. So you're walking maybe two minutes or so to get there uh, instead. Maybe you even have to climb, maybe you even have separate, um, several floors and so you can if you're on the first floor um, or ground level, floor zero, if you are in Europe, <laughs> then you go just up one or two floors mm -hmm. and then you take the stairs too. So even better, you take the, you go to the break room in a different floor. So you walk even more and then you walk back and the whole thing might take you five to 10 minutes, but it just has so much benefit if you go back to your desk and sit. So it basically sounds like we're saying work less, walk more. <laughs> Sit less, walk more. Um, but take, that, take healthier breaks, take, is really all. Yeah, exactly. Or if you go to, your, to the restroom too, you just take the longer route, maybe on a different floor and go use the restroom there. Yeah. So when you do finally make it onto your chair, which you will, as Flo already mentioned, a lot of times throughout your day. So you wake up in the morning, you maybe sit at the breakfast table, then you sit in your car, then you sit at your desk, then you come home and you sit on the couch and then you lay down in bed. You're sitting like 80, 90 percent of your day and that ends up, um, as he said too, doing um, a lot of damage to your body. And so when you do finally sit, <laughs> Uh, if you can, sit forward on your chair a few inches so that your back isn't rounded and that will help tilt your pelvis forward. And um, if you're sitting on 
the ground, then uh, if you're sitting cross-legged, then it's better to sit on a block or a cushion. Um, ideally, when you're sitting on, on the ground, you want to have your knees either the same height as your hips or lower, so that it reduces that extreme curve in your low back. Um, we often sit in hero's pose, so not just cross-legged, but hero's pose, where you're sitting on your heels instead and your quads are parallel to each other. So it's another option. Yeah, you need quite some more ankle flexibility for that one, but it's a symmetrical pose or a symmetrical seat. So I like to, to take that one. You both do. Yep. Well, thank you so much for watching. I think time is already up. You're probably over again. Oops. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any ideas what we should talk about related to yoga, lifestyle, how to make your lifestyle, your life, your day better, how to integrate yoga into your day to day life. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Namaste.